Hi, I'm Bill Berwick from Living Tree Care, and today I'm with a Bradford pear. This Bradford pear tree had a large section that caught the wind, or the wind caught it. It ripped, it split, it shattered and broke. Now I took my chainsaw and I did some tree surgery. A lot of people think that tree surgery is a laughable thing of the past, but if you use any kind of cutting or pruning tool, you are a tree surgeon. You can be, also be an arborist and a tree surgeon. Now, I also use tree paint. And a lot of people think that tree paint is a laughable thing of the past, but you paint an old barn. Now, the rest of the tree is not as susceptible to splitting because it has U-shaped crotches. A U-shaped crotch has a lot of holding power. A V-shaped crotch, which this crotch was, does not have any holding power and is very susceptible to splitting. I thinned a lot of the top to reduce the wind sail so that the tree is not going like this, but going more like this. There's no uh, edifice car or house around this tree where were it to fail it would cause damage. Now over the years we'll watch this tree notice that I did not paint all the way out to the edge the sensitive area between the inner bark and the outer bark and, and, and wood. A one cell a one cell layer thick cambium. The cambium is a miraculous tissue that produces cells outward, producing inner and outer bark, and inward, producing the conducting vessels and the wood. And so, by not smothering it with tree paint and tracing it with my chainsaw, sometimes you need to use a mallet and chisel. I want to encourage this cambium layer to produce a callus tissue. And, a, and that callus tissue, conceivably over time, will roll and close and seal the wound. Tree wounds don't heal, hopefully they seal. I may need to build up this concave area with some kind of material, uh, stucco, maybe some of that ugly looking tree foam. But, 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 the, but the purpose of that stuff is to make a flat surface so that this callus tissue can roll and close over the tree. We'll have to keep our eye on the tree over time, keep it smaller and, 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 and not so prone to get into splitting ever again. And a lot of people don't like the Bradford pear tree as far as the owners of this tree. They do like their Bradford pear tree. Have a real good day, Brad.